Hi guys, I am Troy from the UK, and I'm here in my little home in Beijing. Today, I'm going to be giving you a look at China's cashless lifestyle. So today, I'm not going to take my wallet with me, no cards, no cash, nothing. I'm just going to take you through a whole day using just my phone and mobile payment to show you what that looks like. Okay, let's go. So I've just left home and I'm on my way to the metro. But as you can see in Beijing, like the place is covered in QR codes. As you can see, I'm gonna buy a bit of breakfast. 老板，你们的豆浆要多少钱？四元。四元，那来一杯吧。呃，支付宝可以吗？可以的。好。谢谢你。Okay, so here I am at Andingmen Metro Station, where I go to work. I'll see you there. So in China now, they don't use metro cards. They're a thing of the past. You have your QR code on your phone, and then you swipe yourself in, and you're all good. Hey, here you go. Even the vending machines, you can use mobile payment. So as you can see, I've just come out of the metro, but I've still got about two or three kilometers to go to get to my company. Now, what I do is I leave my bike outside、uh, overnight, and then I take that to the office. Here it is, my chariot of fire. Ah,、uh, oh man! Today, of all days, when we're making this video, my tire has gone flat overnight.、Uh, I guess we'll just need to go and find someone to fix it for us. All right, let's go and do that. Let's make that part of the video. Man, ah, we've got one. We've got a place to fix the bike. Here we go. So I've got my bike fixed. It's all done, and here we are. There's a QR code for me to pay my money. I'm good to go. Off to work again. Okay, so I've just arrived at my company. There's a convenience shop right here.、I'm、gonna go in, get some breakfast, and of course, I'll be using mobile payment to pay for it. Let's go. So one of my favorite parts of mobile payment in China is that when you come to a restaurant and you're worried about butchering Chinese in front of everyone when you order food, you don't have to anymore because right now they have a QR code on every table. So there's a QR code right here, and you scan the QR code, and you you basically can order your menu from here. So we're in a dumpling shop right now. As you can see, we have like pork dumplings, beef dumplings, loads of different types of dumplings, and you just order right there and pay using your phone. So again. If you don't want to embarrass yourself using Chinese in front of everyone, you can use mobile payment. So after lunch, you're probably needing a bit of an energy kick. Now, maybe you don't want to leave the office. You can stay in the office now. There's something that's quite new to China that I think is really cool. Let's go check it out. So, like I said, a lot of the things we've seen today have been in China for a long time, but this is pretty new. This is like a convenience shop inside a fridge. You have snacks here, you have drinks here. All you need to do is scan the QR code, open the fridge, take stuff out, and it will automatically take the money from your phone. So, if the iced tea that you got at lunchtime didn't quite give you the kick that you need, then there's this really cool app in China where you can order coffee in the afternoon or in the morning if you want to. You pre-order it here. They make it when you're on your way to collecting it. Then you go and pick it up. It's already ready. Got the goods. Now I know what you're thinking. If we're using our phone to pay for everything, what happens if your phone runs out of battery? Well, that is totally covered too, because we have these little boxes which are full of portable chargers. You just scan the QR code, one pops out, you charge your phone, you're good to go. And if you move to a different place, these are literally everywhere, so you can bring your portable charger to a different place, and you're all good. So if you're worried that you can't find one of these boxes to put the charger back in, there's no problem because there's a map on here which will show you a pin for all the nearby boxes. You take your charger, you pop it in, you're all good. So I've just got off work and I got a call from my friends to meet at a mall nearby. I'm gonna get a taxi on my phone. Okay, so I've just arrived at the mall, but my friends have just told me they're going to be a couple of hours late. So I'm going to go inside and find something to do, see if I can kill some time. Let's go. 
Okay, so here we have kind of a new thing here in China. It's called a pop mart, where you basically use your your phone to open up one of these and you buy some little figurine type things. I'm gonna check it out. It's my first time. I don't know what this is, to be honest, because my friends are late. They're making me uh, spend money on things that I have no idea what it is. Still have no idea what it is. Let's take a look inside. Oh, it's a cute little girl. Blue glasses. There you go. What a great spend of five pounds. So I was hoping for something a little bit better, but hey, let's spend two hours on this machine. See if we can get a teddy. All right, come on, Mr. Pink. We're gonna get Mr. Pink. There we go. Two, there it is, there it is, there. <laughs> yeah, totally didn't expect that to happen. Failure. Ah, fuck. So thankfully, in this kind of situation, when your power goes out, on China's mobile payment apps, you can pay all your utilities, gas, electric, uh, water, it's all right there. So when you put your money back in, the electricity is back on. Okay, so I've just finished my day in a cashless China lifestyle. As you can see, the whole day, I did not use my wallet at one time, no cards, no cash. I went on the metro, went on a bike, got coffee, paid for food, did a little bit of KTV, all through mobile payment. But the crazy thing is, is the functionality does not stop there. There's so much more you can do. You can send money to your friends, uh, you can invest stocks and shares, and you can even donate money to plant trees in different parts of the country. So it's super crazy, really bonkers how awesome this is. Thanks guys for watching, I'll see you next time. The China Way with Wang Fugui, sharing my China story with you.